Hello, Fiji. Okay, so we are now on Angela's situation three, turn nine. So first we got the German fire phase. And I don't think they have any fire at this time. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Okay, so the Germans have no fire. Now movement. Ooh, okay. Here he goes. He's going to eventually reach that hammer unit and take it out if he survives. Now movement. Hopefully this will actually work this time. So we're going to have all these three Russian tanks overrunning. Here. And there's one more underneath that. Here. Right. So those are overrunning. And I... So it's going to be a one to one becomes two to one, two to one minus two. Finally, two to one minus two, four becomes a two. And I'm still getting just the dispersal. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. All right. What other units we got here that can move? Oh, this guy can do an overrun, huh? 7 to 13. 1 to 2. But yeah, he can. So 1, 2, 3. And it defends at 13. So it's 1 to 2 becomes 1 to 1. 1 to 1 minus 2. And those two units are eliminated. He found some value there. He's going to pay a price because there's an armor gun right there. And it's going to be 24 to 8. It's going to be 3 to 1. And he's probably going to be eliminated. But you know, how about this half track? How about this half track? One, two, maybe he's right there. That mortar unit uh, is fire against that. He not like doesn't have a legitimate target. All right, moving down. Any Germans over here? Yeah, there's Germans over here that need to move. It's getting a little late in the game. We only got one turn after this, but one, two. Okay. That can actually do an overrun. Yep. Three. And that's an overrun. Oh, but can't use road movement rate, right, right? So one, two, three, four, five. And it has to go six, seven, eight. All right, so that's an overrun. So it's two to three. It's one to two becomes one to one. It's one to one minus two. And that mortar unit is eliminated. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Well, let's see. Right now, the Russians have... That has line of sight to here. That has line of sight to here. The Russians have the unbroken line of sight. Yeah, Russians, do they, though? Well, it depends. 
I can get a unit up there that's not dispersed. I'm going to throw the other guard units up there. So how about the Germans? What is he going to do? That's the question. He can't do a lot against that unit in woods. Oh, yeah, I can. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. And he could try. He's going to try the last turn to disperse that unit, which would break up the, the chain. But at the end of the game, the Russian units are going to become undispersed. So. I think that's it for a German movement. Yes, it is. Now, German close assault. Do I have any close assault? No. I don't think the Germans have any close assault. Nope. Okay, so we're going to the Russian turn. So we're going to the Russian turn, turn nine. He's not going to get to that armor unit. But that armor unit's going to fire him. 12, it's going to be half because it's a non armor target. It's going to be six to eight. It's going to be one to two. Ooh, one to two, two. Yeah, that dispersed. So that's the dispersal unit on that rifle. Next, any more Russian fire? Well, that anti-armor gun has fire against this Russian tank. It's going to be a three straight three to one because it's less than half range. And that takes out this Russian tank. Boom. And I'm not putting another thing I'm doing wrong. I'm not putting Rex on the board. I've got to start. I'm going to start doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start now, even though it's a little late. I'm going to start using rec markers. Where's the markers? They're just here. I don't really need it, though, right now. I'm just going to get... I'm going to put that there for a second. All right, let's see if this has any rec units in it. No, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wreck markers. German wreck marker. Alrighty, so that fired. And that would make a difference too, the wreck markers. The Russians have oh the only other unit the Russians have over here is this unit. Let's check the other boards for the fire. No targets over here. They have a one to two attack over here. One to two plus one. I'm gonna roll it. Roll the five, no effect. And it, oh, I should have had a close assault. Fine, it fired. It should have did a close assault. So it would have had a minus two modifier. It wouldn't have made a difference anyways. This armor unit. I'm going to say I can fire on this half track. It's less than half range. Boom. You are gone. Damn. Ooh. Heavy fighting. Okay. That unit is marked fired. Oh, I was a little concerned about that orange, those two orange lines over there. And I let it go, but I really should have checked the, those two orange lines to see if they block. I'm going to actually... Okay, I had to amend that. I checked, and this brown unit, this brown line, that's closer to the target than it is to the firer. It blocks it, so... It was blocked fire anyways. 
it any more russian moves how about that guard unit right there he's gonna go right up there i believe that's it no let's see middle board russian moves a little late in the game but he's gonna move over there He's going to move right there. Okay. Him right there. I believe that's... Oh, yeah. I got this guy way over here. He's trying to get in the fight, but it's a little late. <laughs> All right. And the battle for Moscow continues. So that's it. We're at the end of turn nine. The Russians have, or still have a legitimate line of defense. One, two, three, four, five to there. To this hill. To this unit. One, two, three, four, five. Even though that you was dispersed at the end of the Russian turn, at the end of the game, it's not going to be dispersed. So, oh. I got clean. Yep, there's actually multiple ways, even around this big hill. If this big hill falls, you still have this anti tank gun right here, which can bridge the gap between this and this anti tank gun. That anti-tank gun goes to this unit, which goes to the hill. So the Russians are in good shape right now. Maybe the Germans need to concentrate all their forces in one area, I'm thinking. But we'll see. Thank you for turn 9. See you on turn 10. In the